So in this video, I'm showing you a pink and white style design with loads of glitter. So I've applied my CJP tips, um, natural nail prep, everything like that, and my clear base. So I'm now just coming in with CJP coconut milk, which is an amazing white. It's so, so easy to work with. Just applying it as a thin base on that ring finger. And then on this nail, using a more just at the cuticle area uh, for the nail bed and just fading that up towards the tip. Always smoothing out your product so it reduces your filing time. You want it to be as smooth as possible. Just a really thin wash of coconut milk at the end. And then on this nail, I'm coming in with a glitter that I actually mixed myself. I had a bit of a sort out and just chucked loads of half empty glitters in a pot together. So I can't really tell you what this is or where it's from because I'm sure it's got about 10 different ones. And then coming in on top with the Glitter Planet Reflex Glitter, which is super, super shiny. Absolutely love this glitter. And you can get 10% off their products with my discount code PILGRIM10 if you go to the glitterplanetuk.com. And also the brush I'm using is the new Glitter Planet Nail May Size 12 Aqua Brush. I do love this brush. I use this one and my big boy brush. I kind of alternate. <clears throat> so then I'm applying that same glitter on the tip of this nail. And I'll come back and cap these two when I'm happy with my glitter placement. So this nail is a full bead of Amour. So I'm applying that, pushing that up to the cuticle, getting it by brush right behind the bead so it's nice and flush, and then walking the rest of that bead down uh, the nail with the belly of my brush. And you can always add more if you need to build your apex, so check from all angles to make sure your apex is in the right place.
so on this nail i'm doing a white faded nail so applying the white at the tip turning my brush around keeping it nice and flat and just fading the bottom of that bead down so you're not dragging the whole bead down the nail i do find this is the key to white fades so you're just fading the very bottom and doing it while it's still nice and wet you don't want any harsh line where your white ends and your pink begins. And just keep smoothing that out, making sure it's nice and neat in your free edge area. And then when I'm happy with my white, I'll come in with a more. Just applying a bead in the centre of the nail, push out to one side and fade up. And push out to the other side and fade that up into your white. Make sure the back of that bead is blended in with your natural nail so there's no shadowing. And then come in with um, your cuticle bead. Bring it and brush behind it, making sure it's nice and flush. Out to one side and fade up and push out to the other side and fade up. And you can see that nail is already really nice and smooth. And then cap uh, to build your apex and just to cap that fade. Uh, you don't want to lose all your hard work by filing it away if you don't cap. And this nail is another full white nail um, with the glitter over the top. So onto my filing and I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I saw Tracy Lou, her filing technique, says shaping is absolutely unbelievable. And I thought I'd give it a go. 
So I'm using my Sayang K35 e file and my medium safety bit from Nail Dot Supplies. And just starting from cuticle, working my way up to the free edge, overlapping so you don't get any lines in um, your acrylic. And then just coming down the nail, um, starting at one side wall and going over to the other. This really did save me time as well. It felt quite strange doing it because I don't normally do it. Um, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And with the safety bit, you can get right into that cuticle area as well, so it's nice and smooth and flush. And if there is any excess bulk, you can get that off quite quick. Again, look down the barrel of the nail, as always, to make sure both sides are even. So then I turn my client's hand around and shape from this angle, which again was really, really strange and alien to me because I don't normally do this, but I really wanted to give it a go. And I did find that you do get a really nice shape. You can see if there's any little wonky bits sometimes. You can't tell when the client's hand's facing you. Um, so I just neaten that shape up from this view. I've been bugging Tracy for months to do this. And she has, and I absolutely love her shaping, so I had to give it a go. And then turn your client's hand round to the normal view and just um, refine those sidewalls a little bit from this angle. Just go underneath to make sure there's no little bits. And then I'll go over with my white block buffer. Just remove any scratches and just smooth that surface a bit more. So on this nail, I'm applying my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. Uh, and before curing this, I'm going to do some sugaring using the Glitter Fairy Rainbow Gold Shine, uh, the Fine Cut. Just sprinkling that on using my cuticle pusher and then tapping off any excess. And then cure that for 60 seconds in my lamp. And then go on to the other nails, just applying that top coat. Curing in my lamp for 60 seconds and then when the hand comes out of the lamp just give it a minute to cool before you apply your cuticle oil. And here's the finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.